Here we have a training battle. Metal, uh, battle map will be area of scavengers 1 and battle type maneuvers. Okay, so here it goes. We're starting with three barracks. Uh, that will be the best for this map. And also moving the barracks in the, uh, the right direction. And then going for infantry production, then infantry scouting after infantry will be out. Okay, good scouting. I will gather a lot more containers because of the extra speed that rifleman has. Okay. Proceeding very nicely. I even got this container which is much close to his base. Okay, then I will try to capture the flags as well as scout his base. So I will uh, skip a few part. So here we are back at the 5 minute 10 second mark. Now all I'm trying to do uh, is to capture the flags as well as preparing for a small rush attack using rifleman, armadillo and porcupines. Okay, here the attack goes on. And also upgrading the HQ of mine while I'm, I will conduct the attack. And all he was trying to do uh, in terms of land units, he used assault and fortress at the beginning uh, to get to hold a control of those flags since that affects resource income. And now he's producing bunkers. Okay, constructing bunkers here. Bunkers do have a lot of armor and once a bunker is constructed, it can take down a lot of infantries. So I'm using my vehicles, maneuvering them to hit those bunkers before they're constructed. And keep on reinforcing units and also trying to capture those flags. But unfortunately, one bunker here is already constructed. He's also continuously producing fortress. He has AV factory level one. Okay, more bunkers are inside. So the rush failed uh, because of the armor of the bunkers. I cannot penetrate with just a medium vehicles and also with just a few infantries. So now I myself will go for level three. HQ and then upgrading the vehicle factory I will go for Jaguars as well Avia factory for Hawks as well as Jaguars porcupines I need to capture those flags to keep the resource uh, to keep my resource income higher than normal however here you can see assault infantries are already here and i do not have a sufficient number of riflemen to uh, beat them all right okay now one fortress Trying to take control of that flag and I'm uh, going to gather jaguars and porcupines close to his base okay I will skip a few part okay now back at the 12 minute mark I'm gathering a few units have two jaguars and two porcupines at the middle Got my first hawk out, and I'm uh, throughout this time I'm going with supply boost and also trying to capture the flags, but a uh, fortress and assaults. Uh, just a simple army composition, fortress and assaults are dominating over my armies, so it's being very difficult for me to capture those flags. And here at the middle, as well as a jaguar porcupine, I also added a few snipers here. I'm preparing myself for another attack after 
having my first rush attack being failed. Okay, now Vertex. How did he know? I don't know. How anyway? There is no air defense and hammer souls. Okay, that hawk got killed. I'll try to attack him using my another second hawk. Now he's producing air defense building and going for level 4 HQ due to the extra resource income for capturing more flags. Okay, that one vertex got killed. I'll take care of this flag first. And then I'll attack to his base. And since my army... Uh, okay. He's going to attack me since my army moved uh, from its original position. You can see that uh, this engagement was not a very good choice for him because there was a hill obstructing his units from attacking all together and still his units hammer assaults those units overpowered almost overpowered my units I had uh, sniper jaguars and porcupines and the problem here is that uh, he can produce a lot of hammer assaults because they cost less command points hammers cost two command points and assault just one and where if I go riflemen, they're not that much effective as assaults. And for snipers, I have to spend two command points. And for porcupines, three command points. That reduces my command points uh, quite badly. Okay, and since there uh, is no porcupines left for me here, uh, he's just going to take down my these units using those vertex. Okay, it's because then I'm going on an attacking position and he's just defending himself. So he's just uh, can defend himself using all those uh, air defense. He does not need any typhoons for, uh, right for now. Okay, now uh, keeping a distance between those infantries that I have kept onto that flag because vertex will definitely come. Okay, however, I managed to get hold of those flags. Okay, I'll cut a few part once again. Okay, now here you can see that uh, what he did was using uh, he just uh, he was just spamming assault and fortress on those flags at a huge number and also using vertex uh, to get control of those flags and so I just retreated and gathered my army at my base and then I will uh, go for capturing those flags once again and uh, while I did that I also had put entire at my base okay I was expecting you to come after me okay this time I had good number of porcupines to get rid of those vertex and I tried several times with uh, hawks but 
uh, hawks are not uh, being that much good of course it's if useful but the uh, vertex are quite badly overpowering them so i have had to use some porcupines currently i have level 4 hq and i will try to gather more flags uh, at my, under my control Okay, and I don't know if he's going for Thor's or not, so just in case he might be using Thor's, I will move my armies and also need to scout that if his armies are taking any position around my base. Okay, Zeus, Typhoons. Okay, now the Jaguars are in position and where his vehicles are retreating at his base. Yes, I have like 10 porcupines here and 7 Jaguars, a few snipers and also other units. And now going for HQ level 5, I need more command points. Okay, two fortresses are still here. Okay, is he going to attack? No, that was just uh, one unit for scouting. I need to move these units uh, toward the enemy base as well. Also need to scout what he has. Okay, level 2 EVA factory, Zeus, Typhoons. At my base, I'm going to uh, produce Albatross and adding airfield. Avia factory for so that I can produce albatross faster. Okay, just uh, a bit more skip. Okay, now I'm going to take control of the flag at the upper side and in all other flags uh, he's just spamming assault fortress. Okay, I also need to hold control of the other flags as well. So here both of those two vertex uh, got demolished. So we got like one hawk and two albatross already. Okay, I'm retreating back to my base, uh, taking a defensive position this time. Okay, let's see. We need to scout. So this is where these vehicles have taken their position and he's still unaware that I'm going for Albatross. Okay, quite good damage.
Okay, now I'll add towers. So here you can see that uh, I have like more than a thousand resources gathered after having HQ5. Okay, I should have performed that attack. That's one mistake for me to call back those albatross. Okay, I, also, I need to spend the resources that I have. Now I added my third Avia factory and also another scout using the Hawks. Right, so he's, uh, he went into defensive position once again. I'll bomb the same location. Okay, but unfortunately this time his units are not here. Okay, so that flag uh, at the upper side, the flag was all was taken once again. I will move my units at the middle. Two AV factory for Albatross and one AV factory for uh, Hawks. Okay, quite bad engagement. I was totally in a bad position for attacking. So I had to lose a few infantry units for that cause. Okay, I will try to destroy some of his important buildings. I also need to see what how much units does he has. So there's a very large number of Zeus here. Okay, that factory has been down. But the problem here is that you can see our uh, albatross are quite slow in moving. And only because I had so many porcupines, that was uh, that's why I was able to save that one albatross. Otherwise, they could not have uh, done that. And uh, the chameleon is not that much good at my rank. So I did not intend to use that. I already lost a good number of command points using porcupines. And I do not have that many of jaguars. And uh, I do know that against so many uh, Zeus in a direct combat, there is no match for resistance so he has the advantage while he's on the defensive because he does not need to use uh, typhoons a lot but I'm just fooling myself I'll quit this one okay Be because there's just a no point because here you can see that uh, if confederation goes on the defensive resistance cannot do anything uh, uh, so big I mean that resistance cannot at least fin uh, put a decisive blow it's not possible alright so that's gonna be all for this video